Whenever you decide to produce weights, whether it's just for personal use or commercial use, there's always a certain amount of items that you need to have. Of course, the masks are important. I just put two K95 masks together to uh, alleviate some of the, the dust or the fumes that float around when melting lead. Of course, you got your goggles, you got your pliers, you got your snips, the little wire cutters that cut the tips off of the, the lead. Safety gloves are a must. Of course, I use a two-pot system where I use a, a 10-pound bigger pot along with a handheld three-pound pot. You've got your ladles, different size ladles. I use a big ladle, a small ladle, and then, of course, just a regular spoon to scrape off all the impurities and the junk lead that comes out of the pot when preparing your lead. Of course, it's always important to have a fan for ventilation right by your workspace. Make sure that fan is pointed up because if you point it down towards the, the pots, then it tends to kind of mess up on the, the heating of the, of the lead. Now, I also have an industrial fan in the warehouse that we work at and also keep a fire extinguisher close by just for safety purposes. As you can see here at Stellar Fishing, we have a lot of molds to make any and all kinds of fishing weights all the way down here on the bottom all the way across and today we're going to be working on claw weights and in regards to claws we've got two molds right there that'll make a one two three and four ounce claw and the one on the right makes five six and eight ounce claws in a previous video we showed you how to make what I call splatters where we melted the lead on the pavement in the thin sheets rolled it up into these cigar shaped ingots as I like to call them and then you just drop it into your hot pot and you'll see how how quickly they melt because they're thinner they're not thick like an ingot and they can help you mass produce when you're doing a lot of fishing weights and you want to get a quick result from melting lead Today we're going to be working on claw weights. This is a claw weight. It's got four little legs on the bottom. It's a surf weight. When you want to go fishing at the beach, tie it on your line, throw it in there. The little claws hold on to the sand and it keeps your fishing line and your bait from running all the way down with a riptide and ended up parallel with you on the beach. So we have molds for one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, four ounce. 5 ounce, 6 ounce, and 8 ounce claws. And so today I'm going to be, I'm just going to show you how to make what I have holding in my hand right here is just a 3 ounce claw. This mold right here is set up for a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4 ounce claw. It takes a number 2, it takes a number 2 brass eye. Place it into the mold, close it, pour directly into the hole, open it up, you see the weight in there. Now the only thing is it's kind of a little hard to get out so you got to get your pliers. You got to jiggle it. This is the, this is the hardest weight to make because the little teeth stay embedded inside the mold and it's really hard to get it out. So a lot of times it's a pain to work on these claw weights. But then you take your claw weight, even while it's still hot, get your clippers, knock the top off of it, drop it back in your lid, and you got a three ounce claw. Right there. For the four ounce, it's a little different. Put the brass eye in, close it, get your lead ready, pour it into the four ounce cavity. The difference between the, the one, the two, and the three is when you open up the cavity for the four ounce, 
it actually gives you enough space right here to hold on with the pliers and you can just pull it straight out instead of having to wiggle it on the other portion like we did with a three makes it a lot easier to make fours than it is to make threes so there again we just clip off the top put that back in our lead and there's your four ounce claw thank you for watching our video our goal here at all-in-one fishing is we built a website which is a, hopefully going to be a complete fishing directory and everything fishing and also probably the only place that you actually have a true marketplace for selling your fishing products it's free we give you five ads all you have to do is register on allinonefishingstore.com get your five ads monthly and you can start producing and selling your own fishing tackle on allinonefishingstore.com so thank you for watching this video look out for some more videos because our goal with these videos is to show you how to make a fishing product that you can turn around and sell online and even using our website it will cost you nothing or you can just simply add it to your website in hopes of generating more sales on the internet thank you very much and look forward to the next video remember to hit that subscribe button on the bottom and follow our videos thank you very much